Thank you so much for tuning back in Nevada News Live. Still taking a look outside in Devils Lake, still having that chance for that blowing snow and those travel impacts as we continue that first alert weather day. However, things are going to continue to taper down as we head throughout the next couple hours, but still having some travel impacts for most of us in the tri-state area. We're having some regular seasonable conditions and normal conditions, but in northeastern part of North Dakota near the Devils Lake Basin and stretching through to Minot and even into Will Williston, we have some no travel advised where you see that purple color with not only some completely covered roads as you get just along that highway two corridor from Devil's Lake to Grand Forks. But we also have some partly covered roads on just in between that Oslo area and completely covered roads in north central and northwestern part of Minnesota as well as near that Carrington down to Valley City and Jamestown area because of that blowing snow and snow still falling in the north. Now with this, we're not expecting light or we're not expecting a lot of accumulation with this little band of snow. However, it does still have that possibility to blow this around, particularly still in the Devil's Lake Basin where they're still having those breezy conditions and those whiteout conditions, but also over near Grafton, North Dakota, still with that visibility at eight miles in Grafton, but still zero miles of visibility in can do one mile of visibility in Devil's Lake, half a mile in Carrington and 10 miles as you get close to Fargo here. But take a look at that first alert forecast as we head throughout the next couple hours. Not only are we going to continue to see the system move to the north, we're also going to continue to see our temperatures drop into those single digits. And I added that wind chill temperature here that you see in that pink color by around 4 a.m. And even as we head throughout the rest of your morning hours, as that system continues to move to the north, we are left behind with some colder and some chilly temperatures by tomorrow morning for your morning commute. Temperatures are going to stay in those 20s and teens for the Southern Valley, but in the north, especially near the Devil's Lake Basin and anywhere from Rolla to Minot to Harvey, North Dakota, you can see those wind chill temperatures in those negative double digits. Feels like negative 10 in Devil's Lake and in Harvey, North Dakota tomorrow morning. Feels like negative 15 in Rolla. Still having those breezier westerly winds, but as we head throughout the rest of your morning hours and just by lunchtime temperatures are already starting to warm up and so are our wind chill temperatures but we're still going to have plenty of chances of some sunshine tomorrow afternoon to not only warm the ground but also have our actual air temperature warm up with those winds continuing to die down from the west but by tomorrow evening not only are we having some calmer winds we're already having our temperatures dip back into those 30s and here for your afternoon planner temperatures still in those 30s plenty of sunshine until Wednesday when we have another chance of more chances of some scattered snow, but then our temperatures aren't going to fall back, Stacy, like they are with our clocks on Sunday. <laughs> We're going to get back up into those 50s next week. That's what we like to hear. Yes. Thank you, Shelby. Yes, a reminder daylight.